please welcome Tom Hardy. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to present my friend and colleague, Nancy Weber, with the 2017 Matrix Award. This is a special moment for me, as well as Nancy, as I think of everyone who's, who's had a great impact on my 31-year career in the business, Nancy is at the top. To give you an idea of Nancy's importance to me, my wife Holly and I have been together since high school. That's 37 years of my life. Nancy and I have been together for 25 of those years at three different companies with only brief times apart. Through all these years, she's been a trusted partner who, like my wife, has consistently made me look better than I am. I first met Nancy at the New York Times Magazine Group back when the Times was in the consumer magazine business. I was working in the corporate finance group and was thrilled when I got my first promotion to associate business manager from a calls magazine. Nancy was already there in a senior role as marketing director. I was extremely happy for the opportunity to finally get out and work on a brand where the magic happens and the revenue is generated. Since it was end of the fiscal year, my first very important exciting assignment was to make sure that everyone on the sales and marketing team had their t and &E reports up to date and submitted to accounting so they could close the books for the year. As I went around and prodded everyone to get their expense reports submitted, I learned that Nancy Weber was a little behind. So I stopped by her office and gently asked her to submit her expenses. Now anyone who has ever worked with Nancy knows her office is, shall I say, not the most organized. A kind person would call it a whirlwind of creative activity. Nancy would tell you everything is at her fingertips, someplace on her desk. She would always say, in that nice Midwestern way, oh sure Tom, I have my receipts, I just need a little time to pull it together. After a few weeks of gently nudges, it became clear that Nancy had no intention of getting her t and &E reports submitted. It was not a pressing opportunity. Rather, her focus was always on discovering the next creative idea to win the business. Finally, I went to our corporate head of finance and let him know that everything was complete with the exception of Nancy Weber, our marketing director. I had failed. He broke out into a laugh and said, don't worry, Tom, Nancy Weber hasn't completed a teeny report in over three years. <laughs> We have an ongoing Nancy Weber accrual in place. <laughs> Welcome to the world of creatives, Tom. We quickly became perfect partners and fast friends. Nancy with a new idea every minute and me trying to exert a little discipline and control over this creative genius. Nancy has always made me feel part of her team. At McCall's, I was one of only two men on the brand team of over 60 people. As you might expect, I was an awkward participant at countless conference room parties, such as wedding and baby showers. But not to feel left out, Nancy threw me a surprise baby shower when my first daughter was born 23 years ago, actually this week. Even though that Holly and I went on to have three more children, it was my first and only baby shower. Thank God, because I remember the pink ribbons and the pink balloons. Over her career, Nancy has been a driving force behind some of the biggest brands in media. She has generated literally thousands of creative ideas and has helped our advertising clients interact with all of our brands and sell products to their consumers. Equally important, Nancy has mentored hundreds of young marketers, helping them launch their careers in our great industry and counseled countless leaders along the way. This year, the Meredith Corporation will celebrate its most profitable year in 160 year history, thanks in no small part to Nancy and her team. I am forever grateful for her counsel and her friendship over the last 25 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating our 2017 Matrix Award winner, Nancy Weber. <laughs>
Thanks, Tom. You know, it's hard to believe that not too long ago, we were qu crazy 20-somethings launching golf balls off your balcony at the McCall's LPGA Classic. Who would have guessed we'd be here 25 years later? Your friendship and support over the years has been invaluable, and you're one of the reasons I'm here today. And just to set the record straight, I submit my expenses weekly now. <laughs> I have to say, I'm one of the luckiest people in the world to be in the business I'm in. And it's such an honor to be here with a group of such accomplished women. When I first heard I was winning or receiving a matrix, I was seriously speechless. The first thought that went through my head was, they know I work in marketing, right? You see, most of the time, our role is behind the scenes making things happen, and making others look good. When business is up, marketing rarely gets any credit. And when it's down, it's usually the first place where the fingers are pointed. We create the ideas that sell and the programs that win the awards. But very rarely are we the ones to accept them. But you know what? We're cool with that. That's the gig we signed up for. Today, though, you are honoring two marketers so maybe the tides are turning. I like to think of marketing as the connective tissue in an organization. Our role is to connect the dots and make big things happen for our brands, our consumers, and our partners. I love to do the unthinkable, to motivate others to think beyond the obvious, to find a way around obstacles, and to create opportunities where they don't exist. I truly believe that when we are pushed beyond our comfort zone, we can reach new heights. And that's when the magic happens. It's my favorite part of the job. It's what energizes me and keeps me looking ahead to the next challenge. My advice to young professionals is to look for and take advantage of every opportunity. When I look back on my career, I'm grateful for so many of these experiences. At 24, if I hadn't agreed to meet someone important at 5 a.m. to review a new sales presentation, I would have never met Cy Newhouse and had the opportunity to hear his views on our business firsthand. Several years later, when working for Golf Digest, we helped Callaway Golf celebrate their IPO by building a 100-foot putting green in front of the New York Stock Exchange. After they rang the closing bell, several dignitaries and celebrities gave it their best to sink a hole in one to raise $1 million for the Prostate Cancer Foundation. And five years ago, during the Family Circle Cup, we had the honor, we had the opportunity to honor Billie Jean King and the original nine for the 40th anniversary of the Women's Tennis Association. Together with our partner, Dove, we hosted a conversation with these amazing athletes, along with tennis greats Venus William, Chris Everett, and Martina Navratilova. And we heard firsthand what these women sacrifice, sacrifice to take a stand for pay equity. And more recently, to demonstrate the power of print and digital media, Meredith launched the first ever sales guarantee. Imagine a media company, and now the entire magazine media industry, ensuring marketers an increase in sales based on an advertising investment. So if there's one thing I've learned, it's that if you can dream it, you can do it. Big ideas, though, are only possible with the support of a team that believes in your vision. Thank you to all my teammates, past and present, who put their trust in me and gave me their unqualified dedication. And before I go, I'd like to thank my amazing parents. My mom taught me to be fearless, sorry, and my dad once told me I'm right. Only once, and it's something he's lived to regret ever since. But honestly, the reason I believed I could do anything I set my mind to is because they told me I could. To my brother and sister-in-law and all my friends from throughout my life who traveled a great distance to be here, you're the best. 
So finally, a huge thanks to New York Women in Communications for this incredible honor.